So let's move into the super contest picks now. And man, let me go on and tell you. Last week I went four and one. I am now fifteen and ten against the spread in my super contest picks, and that's after I started Just off. On fire, man. I, I started off with a one and four record. And if it wasn't for that, uh, I would be killing it right now. <laughs> you take out that one week, and I'd be sitting at what fourteen and six. I mean, I'd be I'd be smoking it. Uh, you are thirteen, ten, and two right now. So you had the two pushes that would have you know e- evened you up with me had they both won. Uh, but you are you went three and two last week. So let's go ahead and kick this thing off. I'll go ahead and let you let you start this thing off. So I'm starting off on Thursday night. I'm going with Tampa Bay. And going up to Philadelphia. Look, I know that none of those players are still there. You brought this up, but you know who is still in Philadelphia? All those piece of shit fans <laughs> that gave Tom all the hell in the world. And you know what? He's coming to exact some revenge, and he's going to do it against a mediocre football team. His football team is great, and they are going to kick their ass seven points. Ain't even close. This is going to be double digit season. I like that one. I like that one. Uh, I am going to ride for my first pick, Vikings plus one at the Panthers. Uh, I think that the Vikings are a better team than what they've been showing here lately, and I think the Panthers are on the decline. Divisional games with the Vikings and the Lions are always kind of kind of difficult. It was just divisional games for the Vikings, period, are always kind of difficult. I, I think Vikings going on the road here, I I really like them to get this win, and I'm actually catching points here. So, Give me the Vikings plus one at the Panthers. I think their defense is going to show up in a big, big way and not let the Panthers do anything here. Game number two. All right, my next pick up. Yep. Yeah, game number two for me, I'm going with Chargers plus three. Sorry, I'm sorry, minus three at the the Ravens. Ravens-Chargers game is the game I'm picking. I'm picking the Ravens minus the three, damn it. (laughs) I'll get it out eventually. There, I'm done. I don't need any logic. We talked about the game. I'm done talking. We, I, I've got the same thing. I've got the Ravens covering here. Uh, the noon kick, I think, is going to be tough. I, I just think that, one, the Chargers have been through a gauntlet. Uh, but also, I just think this Ravens team is, is a better overall football team. And, and Lamar, when he gets ready, like he sees a challenge here with uh, Justin Herbert coming in. I think he's going to play well. I expect this to be more than three. As a matter of fact, my number has actually got this around five. And they couldn't be- stop the run against the Browns. Of course, the Browns are the best running team in football. Second best running team in football, Baltimore Ravens. So, and they won't get those calls on the road. So, oh, no, they're not. They're damn sure not getting those calls on the road. They might not get those calls ever again the rest of their life because <laughs> they were bad. They're real bad. <laughs> game, uh, game number three for for you. Game number three for me. I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions plus three and a half against my Bengals. Okay, and I love the Bengals. At some point in time, this Lions team. I, I watch their coach. The more I watch Dan Campbell, the more I like. He made so many people made fun of him for the kneecaps and all that stuff when he first got there. Listen, this guy's a football guy, okay? He's not like the most eloquent speaker in the world. This is not Morgan Freeman coaching your football team. This is a football dude, okay? So he, so he doesn't use the words you like all the time, and he and he doesn't say things in, in an eloquent way. But he's super emotional. He loves his team. I think his team loves him. They don't have a lot of talent, but they've been fighting like hell in all of these games. Nobody is beating them up bad. I only took this because I got the hook and because I don't know that the Bengals field goal kickers can make a kick. It, this is true. And also, I mean, it, so Joe Burrow looks like he's going to play, but a throat. Uh, I, think he's gonna th- play. I don't know what a throat contusion is, but it didn't sound good. No, it doesn't. I, I look at that. And I, I mean, so I'm, I'm Googling throat contusion uh, very rare injury diagnosis, more common following car accidents and boxing matches. Well, he was in a car accident. That's exactly what he was in. Yeah, and so it, it, it makes sense, but it's a, a throat contusion just sounds weird. And I, I can't, I mean, it, you you Google throat contusion right now, the only stuff up there is news reports about Joe, Joe Burrow. Burrow. Like, yeah. That's it. Yeah, because so he's can't. the only person alive that Google knows has ever had a throat contusion. <laughs> So you're taking the Lions plus three and a half. Game game three for me, I'm going to take the Bills minus five and a half at the Titans on Monday night. Uh, yes, the line looks too good to be true, but this feels like it should be double digits. And and I'm going to keep riding the Bills until they give me a reason not to. This team is on fire right now. There's no reason. I mean, their defense 
Like everybody talks about Josh Allen in the offense and whatnot. Their defense against Ryan Tannehill is going to feast. I mean, I'm I'm looking at turnovers. I'm looking at all kind of stuff. Yes, you might have some issues stopping Derrick Henry, maybe, but I I don't think so. I don't think so. Tennessee's a one trick pony. Like the Bills will be able to stop that. They've got a good enough defensive line, and their secondary. Whenever Tannehill does put the ball up, like they, I think they are going to get at least a couple of takeaways here. So give me give me the Bills minus five and a half on Monday night. Yep, that's 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 my fourth pick as well. Bills minus five and a half on Monday. In sight. Against the Titans. All right. Game number four for me. I'm rolling Packers minus four and a half at the Bears. And it's everything that I said earlier. Uh, Aaron Rodgers seems to take this game personally for whatever reason. I think that they just have a way better overall team. If you take out the numbers from the first game against the Saints, this Packers team is a, a top 10 team in the league and probably even better than that. This offense has been uh, really good lately. And even though this is on the road... Uh, I, I still don't like Matt Nagy. I, I don't like him. So I'm I'm going to roll with the Packers minus uh, the four and a half. What's, what's game five for you? Game five for me is where Sunday night football should have gone. My Cleveland Browns got the undefeated Arizona Cardinals coming in, just swinging the big dick, thinking they are unbelievable, and they are about to get slapped down by a bunch of mean, nasty dudes in Cleveland. <laughs> I like it. You got a bunch of pretty boys coming to Cleveland. You got a bunch of roughnecks going to whoop their ass. I like it. I like it. I am going to ride with the Broncos minus three and a half against the Raiders. Uh, it, it might come back to bite me. They might come out and play for uh, the new interim coach. But I've, I've forgotten his name. Robert something. But the Raiders just look like a team that has, especially on Sunday against the Bears, and know the so, so I've got an opinion about this. Okay, go, go I think that's a little scary. I almost took the Raiders today. Here's the reason why. I want to know how good is Derek Carr without John Gruden breathing down his neck? Agreed. Because remember, there were years where Derek Carr was in MVP conversation. Okay, and he has played well at times. And and I just wonder how much of his pressure and struggles have been over the past. Uh, a couple of years with Gruden there, Gruden's open dislike and disapproval of him. Yeah, uh, maybe. I mean, maybe he comes out and plays lights out. Maybe. Uh, but I, I tend to believe with that much chaos, it's going to look more like Jacksonville than it will a team that's just glad to be you know rid of their, their coach. Because I, there were times that they actually played really well for Gruden. Uh, this was, you know, expectations were being met. They looked like they could compete for the playoffs this season, and you know, on top of that, they got uh, they got some guys out. You know, we'll we'll see, we'll see what happens. But I don't know. I I'm really believing that the Broncos are going to show up, especially a divisional game at home. Uh, Raiders got to go on the road right after losing their coach. Uh, the guy's name, by the way, is Rich Bisakia. and I'm hoping. Yeah, he's the special right. teams coach, right? Yeah, been uh, been uh, his twentieth season. As an NFL special teams that, coach, that, that, but that's who always gets these gigs, and that's probably the best choice for all these gigs is because the special teams coach knows all the players because they're pulling offensive players and defensive players. They're the only one that has a relationship with both sides of the ball, and also it doesn't take anybody away from the offense or the defense to run the whole team. Yeah, no, it, it makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. Uh, I do think that the Broncos are going to show up in this spot, though. I, I feel good about that. So, those are ours. Let me go through the uh, the rundown right quick. Uh, Vikings plus one, Ravens minus three, Bills minus five and a half, Packers minus four and a half, Broncos minus three and a half for me. And Chris is riding Bucks minus seven, Ravens minus three, Lions plus three and a half, Bills minus five and a half, and the Browns minus two and a half. Uh, both of us only taking one dog. That's a little frightening. A little bit frightening. Yeah, but it's rare for me. Yeah, it really is. It really is, but that's okay. That's okay. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.